from my humble heart, very sincerely, I don't want this person, I don't want anyone to go to hell. There are some fake pastors out there that might say, homosexuals, I want to see them burn in hell, like Stephen Anderson or someone like that, that's very angry at things. I do have a healthy version of anger at what the world is. I can't sit back and be like, oh, this is fine. And I think most of you brothers and sisters will relate and agree. Like, I don't like lies and deception. And this world is full of them. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's the biblical world that we weren't taught in school. My experience growing up that Jesus and the Bible... Let's throw that stuff aside. Let's throw God aside. You believe in God? It's your own version of God. God will save me. I'm a good person. He's fine with me, right? That's what I used to think. I used to think God will save me because I'm a good enough person, but I'm a sinner. Nowadays, for the last couple years, I don't go out of my way to sin, but I still get angry at things, and I want to, you know, I want to control that in a healthy way. Bex Taylor Kloss is a homosexual person. They're a woman that wants to dress like a man. They take part in agendas and signs and symbols that I don't agree with, and I want to shine light on it so others can make their own decision. Do they think that this is okay, or should we stand up for God and his ways? So Bex Taylor Kloss is sitting here, dressed up a little more manly, and they're sitting in front of the rainbow pride symbol, right? The rainbow. It's about pride of sin, homosexuality and gender and more. They post this that says, Generation Rainbow, protect LGBT, XYLMNP youth. This is something that, like, if there's, a, if there's someone that's a Christian and they go out and hurt people, that's not a Christian. They're, they're not doing their Christian duty. They're, they're making light of things. They are not taking God serious. They are doing what they want. I think that everyone should have human rights. They should have the right to health care and clean water. Like this world doesn't offer that to everyone and we struggle with this. But there's people in the world that have billions and whatever dollars that could solve some of this, but they choose not to. Why? Because the world is biblical and it's run by Satan. That's an easy way to say that. Satan is the small g God of this current world. He even offered Jesus all the kingdoms of the world if Jesus would worship him. But Jesus is about the Father's business. There's no way he would ever do that. Jesus is man and God in the flesh. So Generation Rainbow, they've got their fist in the air, right? This whole... Like, it... it it's a political thing. It's a gender thing. It's a worldwide thing. Do I want these transgendered and homosexual kids to be protected? Of course. I don't want people to be harmed. True Christians want people to know Jesus Christ so they can make the decision to walk with him, have salvation. God isn't forcing anyone to have salvation, but he did die on the cross, was buried and resurrected three days later according to the scriptures. The simple gospel that a child can understand that Jesus has done it all, we rest and take faith in him. So Generation Rainbow, in Genesis it says, I do set my bow, rainbow, in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of my covenant between me and the earth. Meaning God won't flood the earth again like he did in the beginning, where everything pained him that he created. The world is not full of good people. It's full of a bunch of sinners. Most people are like, I'm a good enough person. I, you know, I walked a little old lady across the street and did this and that and the other. That stuff doesn't get people into heaven. Is it good to be a good person, try to be a good person and do good deeds? Of course it is, but it's not for salvation. Jesus Christ finished work on the cross is the only way for salvation. The rainbow is not about pride of sin it's about not flooding the earth because we're a bunch of sinners that deserve that, but God will not do that. He came to save us, sinners. Bex Taylor Kloss is seen here dressing more like a man, blurring the gender. God tells us in the Bible, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. 
Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. It is clear. They're throwing up the devil horns. Are they just rock and roll? <laughs> They're a part of, they're an actor, actress. They're a part of that industry now. So they do one eye symbolism. Maybe they didn't do this on purpose, but they do some of the symbols on purpose. That's for sure. This is probably directors and higher ups that know that they need to slip that one eyed symbolism there for the world they live in, that we live in. Bex is doing the vow of silence, keeping the secret of the biblical world and about how fame, fortune and success worth. Is it really worth it? Vow of silence again. They are meditating in a morgue. Nice, <laughs> nice pairing of things to do. Meditation in a morgue. Sounds appetizing. They are doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra where they rest their hands in a yoga gesture that's supposed to represent supreme enlightenment. They're doing it again here. It is not. It is deception from Satan. They may call him Lucifer the light bearer, but it is Satan and he's the father of lies. It's deception and it's the pride of humanity to pose like this. Let's pray for this person. Let's pray for all the people on this channel. I don't want them to go to hell. I want them to know Jesus Christ. With that will come humble repentance. And it might spark them to say, hey, you should believe in Jesus too. It's for salvation. It's the meaning of life to do this. I pray more people will take life and death seriously, eternity in heaven or hell, seriously, and not just be about these stupid signs and symbols. If you want to say Illuminati, whatever, I'm past that. I think Illuminati is a lame term. These people worship the God of this world, who is Lucifer, who is Satan. Brothers and sisters, God bless you. Amen.